Good morning. Greetings in the name of Jesus Christ our Lord. This is a new day with new mercies from heaven showered upon us. And so let us rejoice and be glad as we go forth in our duties and works and responsibilities today. I pray that you will experience the presence of the Lord so dearly and so personally. And for that, let us spend a few minutes at the feet of Jesus, meditating on his wonderful word, which is life and a light, and that we may walk in the light of his word. Our meditation today is centered around Acts chapter 10. It's about a man by the name of Cornelius, a seeker after God. Acts 10 is a record of one man, a Roman centurion, a heathen who by his good life found the living God. This chapter is the record of his story. He represents thousands of men and women to whom God still revealed himself because their hearts are longing after him and wanting to know a true God. And God is always ready to satisfy the longing heart, the hungering heart for his righteousness. Verses 2 and 3 of this chapter describe his position, his authority, and his character. He was a man of authority. He was a centurion in the Roman army. He was a man of authority. He was devout and God-fearing. He was very generous in helping the needy people. And uh, uh, he was a very prayerful man. He was all these with his entire household. What a peaceful family must have been this. The atmosphere was one of love, peace, joy, and happiness. The environment was uh, ready for an angelic visitation. God uh, could visit this home any time of the day, and God would find the place and the people ready and to welcome him the divine presence. God would not find anything unfavorable with this family. Still, one thing was lacking. The one experience which would have given them a spiritual uh, birth to give them the privilege of being a part of the household of God. For this they would have to hear the gospel, the good news about a savior, Jesus Christ, and invite Jesus Christ uh, and enthrone him into their hearts as Lord and savior. And that day came, thank God, the Lord who was watching Cornelius and listening to his prayers and uh, his devotion to God, his generosity to people in need, his almsgiving and his sincerity and his hunger for God. God who saw all these entered his silence and sent his angel to him one afternoon, three o'clock. The angel told him and assured him that his prayers and his almsgiving and his earnestness in seeking God all have reached God. Uh, the time has come for him to be rewarded for all these things. The angel told him what to do. He must immediately send a man and bring a man by the name of Simon Peter who is staying with the Simon the Tanner whose house is by the seaside. What is the lesson here? When you are sincere in seeking God 
and wholeheartedly seeking him with a hunger and thirst after righteousness, God will not ignore or bypass such a person. His reward will come. And notice another truth. Not even the angels are permitted to preach the gospel to humanity during the church age. The, the, only the church is authorized to proclaim the gospel of Jesus Christ. The angel came and told him about a man who would come and uh, preach to them or proclaim to, him, to them the good news, the gospel message. This privilege is given to the church during this time. Sometimes we do not realize, my friends, what a privilege and opportunity it is to be a servant of God, proclaim the unchanging gospel of Jesus Christ, which brings the way of salvation to the knowledge of humanity. We don't realize that this has, this is, this has to come from heaven, this appointment. And there is no greater job or position in this world than to be a servant of the living God proclaiming this good news of salvation, which brings eternal life to everyone who believes and responds to the gospel. Will you be available to the Holy Spirit? Will you be one of those who are privileged to be admitted into God's army, to be a soldier for Jesus Christ, to win souls for the kingdom of God by declaring to people the good news that Jesus Christ has come and became a sacrifice for the salvation of people. And my friends, today this privilege is given to us human beings, not even to the angels. The angel came to Cornelius and told him what to do. He has to bring such a man who belongs to the church of Jesus Christ, who would proclaim to them the salvation message. And I pray that you would submit yourself to the Holy Spirit. My friends, the Holy Spirit wants to use you and to make you an instrument in his hand so that someone else may be blessed with the knowledge. And the Holy Spirit will lead you and lead the people who are ready in their hearts to admit Jesus into their lives and enthrone him in their hearts as Lord and Savior. This is the joy and privilege. And I pray that you will not miss such an opportunity to be used of God like Peter be ready. And I pray in the name of Jesus that the Spirit of God will move upon your heart and upon your life so that you will experience the stirring up of your hearts by the Holy Spirit to be used of God and that you will submit yourself to the will of the Holy Spirit for you to be used. And thus become a witness for Jesus. Amen. God bless you, my friends, as you respond to this call. And this is a good day. And enjoy the rest of this day. Amen.